What's up YouTube? <clears throat> uh, just want to make a quick video it goes along with my other uh, video that I shot the other day on organiz organizing my shop out here. Uh, that's where this video is shot at again. Out here in my garage again. And uh, what it is is I I, uh, uh, I don't have a whole lot of money to to spend on buying like uh <clears throat> this was bought as a gift right here to buy nice you know store-bought tool racks and stuff like that and uh you watch my other video and I, I was talking about these boards i put up here so i can hang up my wrenches and my sockets up there and stuff and uh and then also that board up there where i got all my tools and uh so i just kind of wanted to make a, a video uh, quickly highlighting one of the ones I'm working on right now and uh, <clears throat> Has to do with these two pieces of wood right here. They're just scrap. I didn't use a, a tape measure or anything uh, I guess you could use like one by or something for this and uh, uh, Essentially, it's kind of like uh, <clears throat> this is kind of like uh, That right there you see in the other video. I talked about this and so I'm kind of redoing that except for it's just a little bit smaller and stuff for other tool holders and uh, <clears throat> so anyway uh, what it is is uh, I'm about to show you what this is uh, not through the <laughs> magic of television or nothing like that it's that I got one done and I'm working on my second one and uh, so I just wanted to show you the before uh, the before and after so here it is before it's done and here it is after, right here. Uh, you see I wrote on there the SAE hex key. And uh, uh, it's the same plywood. Let me show you here. The same plywood, you can see. Same exact, uh, you know. And uh, again, you can see this. This is the board right here, the, the one by. Is what's up underneath there and it has the, the two screws in it right here and uh, so I screwed that's what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna I'm gonna screw it up here with some, just some screws to hold it up there and then I'm going to uh, take the plywood piece here and uh, screw it down into the top of that one by and uh, I know you're looking at that and you're like, well, you already got one. What do you need another one for? Uh, that's the standard Allen heads. Over here, I'm going to put the, mat the metric Allen heads. I don't know if you watched the other video, but I, I talked about how I got a full set of Craftsman um, tools at Christmas. And so I'm right in the middle of uh, getting everything hung up and put up where I can find it and get to it pretty easy and so uh, <clears throat> anyway uh, again I just wanted to make this this quick video real quick obviously there's some some space here I could probably add something later on if I get uh, some other tools or something I could drill some more holes in there or, or who knows you know uh, anyway uh, again like I said just ma just making a, a quick like a highlight video of uh, organizing on a budget you know just uh, making sense of the space I have and making it work so uh, <clears throat> anyway so there it is it's hard to believe that this right here just these two simple pieces of wood right there becomes that right there but uh, that's what's about to happen over here so uh, anyway, uh, in case you're wondering, and before I end this video, I, I did not do any measurements on this. I don't, I didn't, you know, uh, again, it's just scrap and it's just trying to throw something together for tool organization. So I didn't feel like precision was really necessary. Uh, not that I'm being sarcastic or anything. It's just that, um, <clears throat> it just wasn't necessary. I just uh, I had this piece of wood that that was this long already and so I just 
laid this one uh, laid, th laid this one on top of there and cut it at the same length so they were the same length and then uh, just kind of started drilling holes and actually there's a couple pieces over there in the trash because I had this piece too small and ran out of room for enough holes for all of it so uh, <clears throat> probably would have helped to measure it but uh, but I didn't so I don't know the measurements so I apologize but nonetheless it's just a quick video on how to throw things together cheap and easy and uh, have good tool organization and so uh, so that's what I'm working on guys and uh, I'm gonna sign off this video and keep on working but uh, again you can see it's starting to come together it's coming together really good so I can get to all of my stuff and uh, especially my specialty stuff it, and it, that's why I got this stuff here the specialty stuff because even though you don't hardly use it it seems to be that's the hardest to find at least for me anyway I don't know about other shops or you guys' garage you know but for me when I come out here and I need an Allen head or if I need a Torx head, a Torx head or, or something along those lines it seems to be the hardest thing for me to find so <clears throat> that's why I got them all right here up front so I can find them and uh, and also not only that but I mean like this one right here you see how small that is that thing is little so it probably it's probably gonna get lost pretty quick but it definitely get lost uh, in a toolbox so uh, <clears throat> so anyway um, I'm gonna sign off guys and keep on working on this but uh again like i said just want to make a quick video highlighting uh highlighting what i'm doing so highlighting this uh budget tool organizer so uh you guys take care thank you